Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, this is the African Cichlid Hub and this video is going to be about uh, my future plans for a bigger tank. Um, so it's been quite a while now uh, that I've been thinking about upgrading to a larger tank. I'm either thinking of going to a 5x2x2 two two or a 6 foot by 2x2. Two two. Um, I would prefer to have obviously a 6 foot tank that way I can stock more um, and obviously have more of a variety of uh, Mabuna in the tank. My plans are going to be uh, for uh, the Aquascape. Uh, I'm going to be going for uh, River Rock, so it's going to be um, sort of like round, large boulders, um, sort of similar size, um, some big ones, some smaller ones, um, sorry, similar colour. Um, so it's you know it's all matching so it all looks quite natural. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to go with another 3D background or not. Uh, I think I might just paint the black uh, the back of the background uh, a black colour to give the tank some depth of field. Um, substrate I'd probably be using uh, coral sand with a bit of uh, play sand mixed in, so it sort of resembles um, the actual sand in the lake. You know, it's quite a, a clay colour in the lake. Um, I am going to be using some lighting that will promote uh, lots of algae growth because I want to basically turn the tank into some uh, as natural looking as possible. Um, and you know, most of you will know that in the lake they graze constantly on the algae on the rocks. Um, so that's what I want to end up having is actually um, maybe cutting down, not cutting down. All together on the the you know the food that I feed them and stuff like that, but it would be nice uh, that most of their diet would actually be from the algae, you know, high in fiber and stuff, just like they do in the in the lake. Um, so it's going to be probably a few weeks off at the moment. Uh, it's still early in the process of uh, planning and everything like that, um, but it gives uh, me something to look forward to. It's always good to have uh, things to look forward to in the hobby. It keeps us excited. Uh, it keeps us keen. And also, it's going to be something probably interesting for you guys as well because I plan on doing it uh, like a full series, basically, from getting the tank, um, getting everything I need for the tank, and then I'll do a video of me setting it all up. Um, probably a time lapse because it's probably going to be a long process. I'm going to plan what type of aquascape I want in the beginning, uh, so I'll do some rough sketches and then probably go off that the best I can. Um, I want to try and make it look as natural as possible with the aquascape as, uh, as well. So I'm, I don't really want all the rocks being, you know, a mismatch of uh, colours and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so other than that, I'll be using most of the stock from from this tank and probably adding some more, obviously with a bigger tank, the variety um, of Mabuna uh, is a lot more uh, available to you, obviously, because uh, the larger the tank, the more you can fit in and the bigger um, size Mabuna as well becomes available. Uh, so you probably know uh, a couple of weeks back, I think it's a week, about yeah, just over a week, I took a delivery of uh, some Mabuna from Midland Malawis and they're all doing great, um, no deaths as of yet. Um, so just to give you some quick close ups of the guys, just to show you how they're doing. That one there, the one that's having a poo, <laughs> it's one of the hongi. You can see the coloration coming through already, the red across the dorsal and the face, top of the head is really nice. Uh, then you've got the red zebras there, um, Lannister cola, the ones with the orange, the yellowy crown, and the OB uh, full of bornei. And some of the old ones are doing really well as well. Um, I don't know if you can see it, oh, there she is. Right in the middle there. That is my wild caught Aframanda female holding. So that's good. It's the first time holding. Uh, that probably the first time she's held because when um, I got her, obviously being wild caught, she was only just under two inches. So I doubt that she bred in the lake. So it's, with it being her first time, I'm going to let her spit uh, in the tank. Um, as I don't have a big enough tank at the moment uh, to let her spit naturally in. So, but that's all going to be planned as well. I'm going to have a nice little section for my fry and grow out as well when I get the bigger tank. So, uh, it's going to be a lot more um, aimed towards breeding as well. 
because um, I would like to get back into that a bit more as well. So that's pretty much, uh, I just thought I'd give you uh, an update on my plans for the future, uh, plans for the you know, um, videos that's going to be setting up the tank and stuff. So, so stay tuned, um, a lot's going to be happening. I'll keep you, you guys updated on my Facebook page. If you're not on my Facebook page, the link's in the description. I make sure you give it a like. There's always a lot of uh, discussions going on there, questions being asked and videos being shared. And I'll give you guys an update of what's happening with my tanks. Um, and I'm also there if you need any, any help. If I'll try and help you as best uh, as possible. So as always, guys, thanks for watching and take care and stay tuned for the next video.